Look at this verse. I can't stand verses like this. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, what? Value others above me? Yeah, yourselves. Not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interest of others. Now, this is what Jesus does. Now, I just want to set this up. Please catch this. How does God help me love with unconditional love? In my life, if I'm going to learn this, and the, the way my life is right now, how am I going to learn it? Is it going to be pastoring? Maybe. Is it going to be raising my kids? Yeah, maybe. But the way he does it, he puts a woman with you in your life who doesn't meet all the conditions that you want. Man, that is not a good place to say amen. <laughs> I'm just trying to warn you, save your life right here. So what does that look like in, in Ephesians? Maybe this is what Jeremiah said when he said, God, you've tricked me, you know. And uh, in, in the Bible, look, look at this verse in Ephesians 5.25. This is the boldest verse about marriage you'll find anywhere. Husbands, love your wives. It doesn't mean you have more than one wife. Uh, Jill, I got to tell you a whole story. When we first started uh, this church, uh, Jill Hamilton, who passed away, she went to be with Christ. And of course, married to, to Bobby, one of our pastors. And uh, a lady, a new lady, went up to her, and she'd only seen my wife once. And she was a new member, uh, a tender to our church. So she saw Jill, and she thought, maybe that's the pastor's wife. Well, I think that's her. So she goes over to Jill, and she said, are you the pastor's wife? Well, she's married to one of our pastors. But she, she said, are you the pastor's wife? And Jill said, well, I'm one of the pastor's wives. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jill saw the lady's face. So she tried to explain it. No, the pastor only has one wife. There's just no way out of that. <laughs> Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And gave himself up for her. Many times, men, what we think we need is a better wife. But what we need is to be more like Jesus. 